Hello everyone and welcome back to Sled Dog Saga, where I have finally solved one of the mysteries that has been plaguing me for oh so long when it comes to figuring out which one of our puppies needs to go in what position when we are racing our dogs. Sure enough, I now understand why you guys have been arguing with one another so actively in the comments and throwing your hands up to the sky when I say something like, obedient dogs are good at leading, and you say, no Siri, obedient dogs dogs are good in the middle. It turns out that the personality of your dog, like say Everpine here, and her personality of, let's see, where is it? Where is it? Everpine, Everpine. Where's your personality? Everpine, Everpine, Everpine. <laughs> Everpine, where's your personality? I know that you have like strong personality, Everpine. Okay, her personality is, is strong basically, guys. Uh, and right now she doesn't have any kind of aptitude or any kind of specialty, but the personality does not guarantee which spot the dogs go in, just which spot they do not go in. So because she is a strong dog, she is most likely a natural for the wheel and adept at the lead. So she could be a lead. She's not going to be good at a middle per se. She's always going to struggle with that, which is why she is not skilled at the middle, despite having raced 13 times in it. And I don't know what to do because if she's going to be a natural for the wheel, I already have dogs who are naturals for the wheel. So I'm going to have to think about that. We're going to think about what to do with Everpine. I'm going to race her one more time at the wheel and see if that's what she's natural at. There's just a chance that she's natural at it. And if she is... I don't know what to do because I already have a lot of wheel dogs. <laughs> I already have a lot of wheel dogs and I don't need another wheel dog. So that's going to be kind of interesting. I kind of wonder if Yuki would actually enjoy a vacation. She is uh, able at the lead, but a natural at the wheel. Maybe Yuki can start training up at the lead. I'm not sure. At this point, I think that would actually frustrate her. Uh, but I would be willing to let her go ahead and go on a vacation, and we can always rehire her in the future. But we're going to go ahead and see what happens. I, I do love Everpine a lot, and I think she and Mary actually make a great pair together, since they're kind of like my little Christmas pair. And maybe Yuki would be okay with being in the lead, but we'll have to figure it out. Uh, I kind of want to hire a new dog, one who is going to have an obedient personality. Uh, oh, Merrimack! Oh, I've been to Merrimack Island. How many of you guys have been to Merrimack Island in the uh, Michigan, like in the Great Lakes, basically? It's in the UP, the UP of Michigan, and it's it was, it was an event, that's for sure. There were horses and they clopped around on their hooves. There's a lot of horses on that island in the middle of the Great Lakes. It was quite fun. Also, Nico, which kind of cracks me up because that means cat in Japanese. Japanese. Uh, also an obedient German Shepherd named Link, which is kind of a really awesome name. So clearly we could come in here and we could probably find an obedient Schnauzer. Mm -hmm. We could probably find a new dog uh, to bring into our life and to give the position of the, the lead and try them out. And I kind of would like that, you know? And I like the idea of rotating in and out some of our dogs to keep the challenge fresh, to keep them fresh, and to give them some vacations. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and train up. All right, give everybody pets. And then we're going to race Everpine one more time in the lead and see if that is where she was meant to be all along. And we're also going to have a strong, or in, uh, excuse me, at the wheel position, pardon me. Domino in the lead. We're going to have Mary in the middle so I can train her up. Hopefully this will be a okay race. This is going to be a little bit tough on them, but I think it'll be worth it. All right, come on, ladies. Also, as soon as I get the funding for the rope, I am totally taking that back. I am so sad. I got rid of the rope funding. I will take that back any day of the week over having funding for uh, the sled. My dogs were so tangled up in the last couple of races because we got rid of the special fancy rope because I was thinking, oh, we don't need it. Oh my gosh, I'm glad you guys are feeling a little bit famous. Mary really seems to be adapting herself to learning how to race, um, but I miss having, I miss having my better, my better rope, that's for sure. Here you go, Mary. All right, we'll toss something up front. Oh my gosh, she's going to be like the next famous dog, probably because she's like racing with her beautiful reef collar. Come on, catch that Everpine. No! Dang it, tree. I'm sorry, Domino. It wasn't intentional. It's really hard to feed these two. They're kind of they're kind of silly girls sometimes. 
Everpine. Everpine. We, we struggle together, Everpine. Oh my gosh, Everpine. You and I, we have some problems together. We shouldn't, but we do. All right, let's keep going. All right, come on. There we go. And let's toss some treats. Oh my goodness, I think that Mary is like going up way high in fame right now. I have no problem with that because the more famous Mary becomes, the more we can convince everybody how awesome her reef collar is. I'm so proud of it. You guys do such a fantastic job on that fan art. It is still one of my favorite things of this entire month's adventures. Not, ah, dang it. There's a lot of fame in this race. It's really nice, except the paparazzi are kind of driving me a little bit up the wall. I can't see a thing. How am I supposed to throw treats into my dog's mouths? With, get the cameras out of my face. Get out of my face. Yay! And we made it, you guys. We're almost there. <gasps> yes! And nobody came up from the back. I'm sorry, Domino. <laughs> he needs a break, doesn't he? <laughs> All right. Let's see how much fame they have managed to get. Everpine's fatigue capacity is ma maxed out. Um, and actually she didn't get too exhausted and look at all that fame. She is just rolling in fame. What the heck? What the heck, Everpine? What? Level six fame, like through the roof. Oh my goodness. And Mary's fatigue capacity has gone way up. So she should actually level up. Yay, Mary. Our young Mary, she did very well, actually. Did she get enough to level up in fame? She did too. What is with this? I told you guys the Christmas team is just really popular for some reason. Domino's okay. He got a little bit tired because the girls were keeping me on my toes. He didn't get quite as much fame as Everpine and Mary. I kind of feel like we need a Rudolph. <gasps> we need to get a lead dog and name him Rudolph. And then we can have Everpine and Mary and we'll get like other Christmas themed dogs with us. That is totally what we're going to work on. Also, Domino is getting ready for his 100th race as our lead dog. <gasps> I'm so proud of him. So proud. Good job, ladies. That was amazing. That was absolutely fantastic, actually, because they got a lot of fame from that. All right. And let's see. 22 days until the bills are due. And we have a few fair-sized money races coming up we might be able to do okay on. The next race is going to slay me, though. Ugh, scarce restocks? Are you kidding me with some wind? At least it's gonna be snowing for Domino. He really loves the snow. And a five dog team is gonna keep me on my toes with using that. So we'll, we'll take out only the most experienced dogs the next round. But let me go ahead and give a little bit of loving care and rest to Everpie Mary and Domino. And unfortunately, I do need to hire another person so that we can keep our other dogs who have to be idle training so that they don't lose any of their skills. All right, there we go. A couple days of rest, then everybody will be ready for training again. I really wish I could hire a new dog, but I should probably wait until we have a little bit more money. So hopefully we'll win the next race and it won't be a problem. All right, let's go down the line. Everybody gets pets, everybody gets pets. There we go. All right, let's change over to training and bring Striker back into the training family tree. All right, down the line. I don't know, guys, if we have like a ton of dogs going down the line and petting everybody every day, it might take a little while. All right, down we go. No, happiness down on Domino. What does he want? What does he want? Domino, tell me. Tell me what it's, it's snow. We're gonna have snow soon, Domino. We live up here in, in Alaska, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, and Harmony's favorite thing went down too. She wants some fame. She wants some attention. I mean, not from me. She wants attention from strangers with cameras. She's a little bit vain, my beloved Harmony, but she's she's our lovely Harmony and quite sweet. So, all right, let's go ahead and race. We're only gonna take the most experienced dogs with us. That means Domino, Striker, uh, let's see. Yuki hasn't been out for a little while, I don't think. Well, but Max hasn't been out either and he's really talented. Um, and then we need Sierra, so yeah. Domino, Striker, Max, Harmony, and Sierra, who are kind of like our core team. And then I'm going to let Everpine and Mary train with the jerk. And let's do this. All right, everybody where you guys belong. You guys know the order by now. Yep, everybody's good to go. Now we just need to make sure that Sierra can get some perfect catches. I'm going to scooch her back. And then actually Harmony, I'm going to scooch back the most because she's going to want some fame. And if we jump over rocks and I get that treat into her mouth just in time, that'll make her happy. And now Domino gets to enjoy. Ta-da! A beautiful race with some lovely deer in the background and some snow, which is going to make him happy. 
All right, hang in there, Harmony. It's gonna take a little while to get to your favorite thing, my dear. All right, the rest of y'all need to just be good dogs. <laughs> And hang in there until, oh, oh, dang it, I just fed Harmony. Oh no! Oh my, my rope, 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 I miss my rope, I want my rope back. Oh my gosh, don't you dare do that, Max. That's, that's not good, dog. Ah! My rope, I miss my rope, I miss my rope. I, I take back the sled. I don't like my sled. I, I don't want to sponsor this sled. I want to return it. I'm out of treats. Thank you, Domino. He is doing his best to pull the team through. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, no. Oh, no. Scarce treats. Oh, hang in there, Harmony. Oh, this is just horrible. Oh, jeez. Hang in there, everybody. Domino, there you go. Okay, gotta be more careful with the treats. Okay, come on, untangle the puppies. Feed her, dang it, don't feed her that much. Oh, it's so hard, Striker needs something. Stat, okay. Hang in there, guys! No, Harmony! Harmony, why? We're still in third, this is a really hard one. Oh my gosh. And here I thought we were good enough. Oh, and the faults are just kicking in left and right. Oh, this is so bad. There were only three tree for stocks? <sighs> we're gonna need some time to rest from that. That's almost like pity money at that point for the size of our kennel, how famous we used to be. Are my fumble fingers just activating that much? We're, we're falling lower and lower and lower, you guys. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. And here I was talking the talk, going, yeah, we'll just we'll just get all the dogs we want. We have all the money we want. Oh my goodness, I need to be better at this. I'm just gonna have to like take proper care of everybody. Make sure that all of, I can't pet anybody today, darn it. Make sure that they are well trained. Make sure that they are taken care of. They still have a little bit of fatigue actually. Ah, oh, I, I really goofed. I really goofed and I'm willing to admit it. I need to have like my core team ready to go. I probably should not have had Harmony up at the back. She proved to be a little bit more than I could handle way back there with me. All right, so whoops, let me go ahead and give all of those who love pets their pets. That's everybody, even if your favorite thing isn't pets. There we go. And let's try this again. I'm going to take my top dogs. I need my wheel dog. Uh, we'll take Yuki this time because we had Max last time. I'm gonna take Striker as my middle dog and Domino is going to be racing as the lead again because uh, that's unfortunately, <laughs> that's unfortunately the only dog we have who's a good lead dog. So let's move everybody around. Yuki, Striker, and Domino, let's do this. And we're getting closer and closer. Next time you guys, I think we're gonna have Domino's 100th race. What? That's ridiculous. 100 races with Domino. Oh. oh, thank goodness. It's a relaxing night race. Yuki is trying to get us off, starting strong. There we go, we got a little bit of fame. Our puppers enjoying a treat together. Look at that, Striker even managed to catch that treat despite the fact a tree was in the way. And we're just gonna take some deep breaths. We're gonna sit back. We're gonna keep an eye on that awful rope. I will I will grovel before our rope sponsors. I will pay out of my own pocket. Forget sponsorships. Just I want your wonderful rope back. There we go. Very, very peaceful. Very relaxing. After the stress and chaos that we have just been through. Alright, there we go. Couple treats for you to you. We're gonna wait with so few dogs in hand right now. We can actually wait to do the perfect throws for some of our puppers if we so wish. There we go. And Yuki is trying to give us a little bit of a boost. Watch out for this tree. It feels like George of the Jungle, which oh, oh my goodness. I don't even know how many of you would even know George of the Jungle. That was maybe, that maybe reveals how old I am. All right, come along. Everybody's doing well, very peaceful, very relaxing. Nobody's finding the need. Come on, go over a tree. Dang it. I was hoping we could get like something special from that. All right, the dogs seem to be enjoying everything. Striker, I see you're begging. I had a feeling she was gonna try to sneak that from her brother. 
There we go. Not that they're actually brother and sister, in case I end up breeding them. This is very relaxed. A very long, relaxing, chill night race. I would love if we could have, there, a little bit more fame. Okay, maybe I'm as bad as Harmony with liking the flashing lights. They can be very annoying when I'm in the middle of racing, but I will admit they're quite the boost to the self-esteem when you finish and you're able to be like, wow, I wonder how many cool Instagram pictures my dog's got. All right, come on, come on, guys. Yes. <gasps> Don't jinx it. Oh, I jinxed it by throwing a treat on top of my, no, no faults. No faults, there's no need for faults here. Only love, only love. Yes. <gasps> Oh, and Yuki's finally happy because we finally had victory. There we go, guys. All right, and we actually managed to get fame level nine on Yuki now, so that's fantastic. She has gone 29 races as the wheel. She enjoyed some victory. We have Striker who got her perfect catch, and Domino only needs three more races to his 100th race in the lead. In which case, I say we should heck or high water adopt a obedient dog who has a higher chance of being a natural for the lead and seeing if they will possibly give Domino a little bit of a break. So, yeah, all right. How are we doing on our money? I hope that sponsorship deal that is coming in three days is the rope guy again. I will take him back with open arms. I will bake him cookies. We have enough money that I think we can actually try to adopt another dog with two races left. We just have to be very careful that I am smart about winning those races. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.